Phil M. Showtime is sponsored today by New Sagaya's Markets. There are three locations in Anchorage to serve you. Good evening, welcome to Phil M. Showtime. I am Nes Dangilan. Kamusta po kayo lahat? As always, Phil M. Showtime is happy to bring you the latest in our community. Mm -hmm. And joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen, our good-looking co-host here, <laughs> Mr. Chris Benarte. Chris, welcome to Film Show Time. Thank you, thank you, Uncle Ness. That was a uh, flattering you know, introduction. And Uncle yeah, well, Ness. Chris, I know, I know <laughs> that uh, you know you, you are flattered. I'm, I'm telling the truth. Guapo din tayo. Okay, uh, Chris, uh, we are uh, here again to another segment of mm -hmm. Film Show Time. Mm -hmm. And it's been a pretty busy week for you. I mm -hmm. know you are a working father. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a family. Mm -hmm. You have two daughters and you have two sons. Oh, yeah. And a beautiful wife that just arrived but, from the Philippines. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. Maligaya ka despite everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. thank you for your uh, volunteer time. Oh, so yeah. what's happening this week? Uncle Ness, yeah. Uncle Ness, uh, in spite that I am busy, I still have time to volunteer in with this our program, weekly program like this. Because... Uh, you know, it's part of my goal to, to serve our community. It's not only for the Filipino, it's all of um, all the Alaskan here. Okay. So, Uncle Ness, uh, last week we visited the rehearsal of the upcoming Miss Tin Pil mm -hmm. uh -huh. And that was fun. And uh, I see them how hard they, they are in rehearsing their part of that uh, pageant. So, we will share that tonight para makita ng ating mga kababayan kung gaano ka busy ang mga candidates natin ang Galnes. Yes. And uh, about 2 weeks ago, um, a 50 year old um, American Filipino American, his name is uh, Ferdinand Marquez was brutally slain while he was sleeping on his sleeping bag. It's just a few blocks away from the home shelter, a homeless shelter. Wow. Um tonight Uncle Ness yeah, uh, we'll interview his sister uh, all the way from Hayward, California. Right. Uh, sadly, to se uh, sadly to settle her brother's remain. Yeah. Uh, Phil Am Showtime will also con will also show the continuing APA segment of uh, APA banquet uh, and ball, which was held at uh, the Marriott in downtown so that's a continuation segment too Phil uh, yeah also a uh, film show time uh, were uh, were visited mm -hmm. by members of the Alaskaro partnership organizers uh -huh. and uh, they stopped by and mm -hmm. uh, and actually brought in uh, Marian uh, Marcus uh -huh. Creighton and at the same time they uh, they are there to talk about the uh, uh, Alaskaro's partnership organizers uh, program that they're doing for the month of October. Upcoming activities. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. as you know, October is uh, the uh, mm. history month for Filipino-Americans. Filipino oh, and see. they mm -hmm. uh, they prepared many programs wow. okay. that uh, we will be seeing for the full month of October. And yeah. as a matter of fact, I, uh, we have, uh, what did I do with it? This, this one, Young this one, yeah. yeah. We uh, they uh, This coming Saturday, uh, they have a program called the left by the ship mm -hmm. and it's a very interesting uh, documentary I believe mm -hmm. it's award-winning documentary wow. mm -hmm. and it will be uh, shown uh, this coming October 12 at uh, the University of Alaska Anchorage Rasmussen Hall room 111 po ang, ang time 12.30 to 3.30 p.m. So this one Uncle Ness is a film show? Yes it's the it's it's a show, but mm -hmm. it's just a screening. A screening show. Uh, yeah, to a free screening mm -hmm. of the award-winning documentary called Left by the Ship. Uh huh. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Yes. Left by the Ship. So yeah. probably they left something down there in the Philippines. Right. Yeah. All I many things they left behind. I don't know. Left by the mm -hmm. ship. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> anyway, if you are ready, mm -hmm. uh, please join me now mm -hmm. uh, uh, here in our downtown studio. Mm -hmm. uh, the for the interview of our guest uh, all the way from Hayward, California, mm -hmm. uh, no other else than Marianne, uh, uh, Marcus Creighton. Yes, let's watch.
Welcome to Film Showtime. I'm Ness Dangilan, your host. Kamusta po kayong lahat? About two weeks ago, ladies and gentlemen, the community of Filipino Americans were shocked to hear that a Filipino American was brutally attacked and that caused his untimely death. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest coming all the way from California. And that's no other else than the sister of the victim, Marianne Marquez. Great. Marianne, welcome to Film Time. Thank you. And uh, Marianne, uh, you arrived here in Anchorage, Alaska, and you were actually uh, invited by a group of people to come here. Tell, tell us you about know, started na yung ako pa paano ko mangkuhan kapatid ko. Okay. So, ay yung hindi ko alam kung saan mag-umpisa. So, mm -hmm. nagtawag-tawag, nagtawag, nakausap ko po yung isang pinsan ko sa Canada na sabi nga, ano, na kinakwento ko sa kanya kung niya sa kapatid namin mm -hmm. na hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin ko. Then, mga, I would say, the next day, nagkaroon siya ng, ano, communication with someone in, uh, ano, here Command in Anchorage. Rights, yeah. Yeah, okay. Na meron nga ito, Filipino community na nag, nag ano, dito na tutulog. Mm -hmm. nag, nagkaroon sila, nagkaisahan nung sila na tulungan po ako makarating dito. Dahil talagang, mula nung nalaman ko, hindi ko na alam kung paano ko makukuha kapatid ko dito. Mm -hmm. Sa, papalik sa, ano, sa California. Kasi mm -hmm. nga ho, Within that time, nakausap ko ang police at met my medical examiner. They told me I only have 10 days to get my brother. Ano, <coughs> okay. Let, let's talk about your brother, uh, Ferdinand Marquez. Okay. And ilang kayong magkakapatid? Tatlo po. Tatlo kayo and yung, yung, yung oldest nyo? Oldest ko po, na, na namin po, is nasa Philippines. All nasa right. Pilipinas. Okay. At ang kanyang also anak nasa Pilipinas, so ni Jojo. All right. And Ferdinand, uh, so he he's younger than you or Kuya Mo? Kuya ko po siya. Kuya Mo, Kuya Ferdinand. So Ferdinand also have his own family, right? Yes. And uh, he have a son? He's got two sons, one in the Philippines and one in Hawaii that's stationed there. Mm -hmm. It's a Navy boat. Yeah. And you, you, Kuya, Kuya Ferdinand, and again, ladies and gentlemen, our special guest is Marianne. Uh, Creighton, who is the uh, youngest, younger sister of, uh, Ferdi, of Ferdinand Marquez, uh, the late Ferdinand Marquez. And uh, Marian, Ferdinand, yung, yung Kuya Ferdinand Mo, actually he was, he was a very nice man. He, yes. he, he comes and visits you. Uh, and, and you're from what part of California? Hayward, California. Hayward, California. How often do you see Ferdinand when he comes? As here? much as he can when he's uh, in town. He goes, well, basically, ang ginagawa niya po, uh, it's between me and his friend mm -hmm. that he met actually here in Anchor, in Alaska, mm -hmm. when he worked for one of the uh, um, places here. Mm -hmm. So he goes to stay with him once in a while or he'll stay with me. Okay. So, nagkaano siya para kasi alam niya din may pamilya po ko at hindi siya, yun para siyempre, parang inaano niya ay siya to be burdened. Mm -hmm. na Nakikaano siya sa amin. No? Pero, mm -hmm. sa amin, wala naman yun dahil kapatid niyo, no matter okay. what, wala kayong ano doon. Right. So, inaano niya lang, oh, para meron din siya sariling privacy niya, may view. Okay. Kaya pumupunta siya sa mga kaano niya, yeah. yung nakilala niya ho, dito na nandun niya ho, sa Oakland, California din. Okay. So, Ang napakagandang uh, article, they talk about you, brother of what you told them, it was on the Anchorage Daily News that uh, he bought you a car. Yeah. Binilang ka ng kotse ng kuya mo. Yeah. Wasn't that beautiful? Very, very nice. Kasi yun talagang wala ko kung ano, you know, as a single mother, ano din, no, mahirap din. Mm -hmm. So, siya bali yung tumutulong sa akin. Sa, okay. sa aking pamilya, sa okay. aking mga anak. Oh. So, he was always there. So, when I, when he made money coming, you know, from, from here, coming back to California, that's the first thing he did was ask me and made you know made sure he says love let's get you a car po mm -hmm. ako ng mo dahil alam ko mahirap para sa yon mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. kahit to ano siya second hand he bought me a car right away without even thinking twice of you know kung ano kung ano pa kailangan yung gawin sa pera niyo mm -hmm. right away he thought about me hindi siya nagis nagdalawang isip na para yano pa yung pera niya itabi niya na ano right away mm -hmm. ako agad ang niya Okay, and uh, there's this only three of you, three siblings, yes, and uh, yung kapatid mo, yung ate mo is in the Philippines. Okay. And, uh, and and you were able to communicate with her, and thanks to the ap apos, 
the the Alaskeros. The Alaskeros, yeah. Yeah, they made it happen. Yeah. And then we bas we did the Skype. You 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 Skype yes, with your sister, did, uh, right? Yeah, and she uh, had finally, you know, at least she had the chance to say goodbye as well. Because okay. yun hong pinaka masakit sa magkakapatid na hindi yun malamang ma mas masabi mm -hmm. kahit pa paano na na nag nagpaano na kayo sa kanya nagpapaalam na mm -hmm. at least on nagawa ng kapatid ko at ang kanyang anak mm -hmm. na nasa Pilipinas din no na kahit okay. pa paano within this technology na meron yes, tayo yes. na naku na ano naman namin na nagawa ng paraan kaya kaya sabi nila ang Diyos walang ano yeah. lahat nakakagawa ng paraan yes. kaya kaya ang aking ano lang oh, nagpapasalamat talaga ako sa sa Alas Kero mm -hmm. organization mm -hmm. at sa lahat ng ano association din no na mm -hmm. ng Pilipino na tumutulong talaga ako sa akin ngayon sa aming pamilya na ang pamilya na hindi nila kilala. Yun ang ano ko ang papasalamat ko kami from our bottom of our, my heart and my sister's heart ang lahat niya. Kasi yes. alam niyo naman may, sa Amerika pagka ano kayo minsan ang Di, hindi nyo alam ang mga tao, hindi kayo kilala, wala nang silang pakailam. Mm -hmm. That was it, that's your on your own. Pero, hindi nyo na-realize in life na merong mga ibang tao na nagkikare din sa inyo, no matter what, kung mm -hmm. ano kayo, mm -hmm. kung class kayong tao. Mm -hmm. Gaya ng sabi ko, and like what I said in the beginning, the, uh, the community was shocked to find out that uh, especially na uh, Ferdinand is a Filipino American and he's just you know one of the migrant workers that come here every every year to work in the canneries or uh, in the fishing industry and and for him to you know na, na mawala basta ganun na lang you know uh, it's it's shocking and I'd, I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, thank the uh, Alaskeros a partnership organization uh, for uh, you know for taking the initiative Yes. For bringing you here, uh, I'm talking of uh, uh, EJ, uh, EJ uh, David, uh, Christine Marasigan, Gabriel Garcia, mm -hmm. uh, Gat Labayan, uh, Mary, Mary Chris, Mary Chris Gat Labayan. Did I say it right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And of course, Gab uh, Gabriel Garcia and, uh, and uh, Joyce Mapaya. Joyce yeah. Mapaya. John yeah. Mapaya. Mm -hmm. Bless your heart, you guys. Uh, thank you so much. And, and also, we would like to credit the Filipino community, all the organization yes. chipped yes. in. And, and and you were very busy. We couldn't even get in touch with you. <laughs> you were fully booked. Oh, you said you don't have your mom and dad, and wala na kayo wala na po. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wala na po. So you you're actually an orphan, and uh, you know wala nang ano. It's just your sister now, Stop, and yeah. yeah, and and now dalawa na lang kayo. Yeah. Yeah. How many kids did you say uh, your kuya have? Uh, two. Or, you know, two boys. Two kids. And I understand one of them is in the Navy, is that right? Yeah, he's in the yeah. yeah, military in Hawaii, no, stationed in Hawaii. He's stationed in Hawaii. Well, bless his heart. I'm sure that... Uh, he wanted to be here. Yes. He wanted to be here, but there are some under circumstances as well that yes. he couldn't be here. Yes, and he's with the U.S. Navy. Yes. And and the other son is in California also? He, no, the other son is in the Philippines. Oh, he's in the Philippines. Yeah. He's in the Philippines with my sister. All right. Yeah. And uh, so... Uh, we're just gonna pause here a little bit here, and I'd like to call on uh, uh, Christine Marasigan to just say something about the, uh, the the donations that they're doing in behalf of your family. Oh, yeah. Christine, oh, yeah. yeah. Welcome to Film Show Time. Hi, Uncle Ness. It's always good to be here. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> now, Christine, I know all these things has been you know going so fast. You know uh, that this don't happen in a daily basis. It's, it's in once in a blue moon, and thanks God uh, that it's only once in a blue moon. But it, it just caught your attention. Just tell us exactly how it all got started. Okay. Well, Uncle Naz, as you know, no great effort is one person. It's always many people. And so um, with the Alaskero Partnership Organization, as you know, October is Filipino American History Month. Mm -hmm. And so we, we as a group, has al have always done programming talking about the history of Filipino Americans and sort of educating people about our history as Filipinos here, not only in Alaska, but in the United States. Now, when we saw the article in the newspaper talking about this brutal, violent murder of a Filipino man, uh, you know, being murdered by four young uh, Caucasian men mm -hmm. um, on the street, um, it just sort of really caught our attention and we were talking amongst ourselves and we're very uh, lucky that our, all of the people involved in the organization is uh, media and social media savvy. 
And so um, <laughs> Dr. E.J. David actually posted something about it and had actually got into contact with um, uh, the deceased sister that's in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And then of course then we found out that there's this connection to one of our members, we Mary Chris Scott Labayan. Now, <coughs> they say that between any two human beings on the planet, there's six degrees of separation. That's right. But I would say, if you're Filipino, there's maybe two <laughs> degrees of separation. <laughs> so we're all connected. <coughs> and so when we heard about this, and that this man had no family here in Alaska that he had interacted with and that he had not really been you know, maybe uh, because he's not here permanently, not involved necessarily with a lot of the organizations, we wanted to do what we could to help. And so uh, Dr. David reached out to the family, um, and Chris Scott Lobayan reached out to the family, and then as a group, um, Joy Mapaye, myself, uh, Gabriel Garcia, we all sort of pulled resources together and asked people, what can, how can we make, how can we try to, we can never make this right, but how can we ease the suffering of our fellow fellow Bayan? Well, we thank can you all help one another. And sometimes you have to do whatever you can, when you can, where you can. You know, we ran into a woman at the gift shop at the Hilton who heard the story and just, you know, she said, I've helped other Filipinos before too, and she just immediately gave $40. Oh, that's so hard. Oh uh, some people give $10. Right. Some people said, hey, we can offer you a ride. Or some people yes. said, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll take you out to dinner while. Yes. While, while, while she's here. While yes, and so you, you kept Marianne very busy soon as she arrived here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, what are these activities? Who are these families? Who are these people? That you well, I mean, a lot of, um, first of all, there's the great support of the Filipino community. Okay. And I specifically want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to um, AFA, the uh, American Federation of Filipino mm -hmm. Americans, for a generous contribution. And also the Filipino Religious Tradition Group, they also okay. contributed. And, and many, many other individuals that, you know, I don't even know their names because mm -hmm. we set up a fund where people could deposit money to, to help defray some of the expenses. Mm -hmm. And now, I know that many of us Filipinos that are here that work and either send money to the Philippines, sometimes when there's a death in the family, it is just shocking. I mean, sometimes it's illness or sometimes you're far away. and you want to help or you need to do some things to um, help with the family. But in this particular case, because of really the violent and criminal nature of the way this person passed away, that um, it just really was something that had to be taken care of quickly. So for example, um, Marianne did not get here until after midnight on, um, on, on Thursday. So it was really, you know, really early in the morning on Friday. Mm -hmm. And there are things that one has to take care of. You have to go to the medical examiner. You have to go because of the nature of this, of what happened to her brother. We had to go to the police department so that she really knows what happened. Mm -hmm. And um, we have other things that we need to do. We had to um, make sure that the body could be taken to the mortuary and make arrangements so that she could get her brother's remains um, and take care of things like that. So uh, you know that keeps one very busy. And then I think. Secondly, the most important thing for people that are with the Apo group, too, is to make sure that people don't forget that this was a Filipino man that was a brother, mm -hmm. you know, a father, mm -hmm. you know, cousin, uncle. I mean, this was a beloved person of someone's family. And I think um, because sometimes we don't know one another, even within our community. So it's good that we at least had Marianne talk with some people from the Alaska Dis Dis Dispatch the Anchorage Daily News and um, KTUU so that people know that this was not a nameless, faceless, homeless person. This was someone who has a family and that we need to keep that in mind. Well, thank you very much. And, uh, and, and parallel to that, you, you, uh, you started to have uh, a foundation for uh, Ferdinand. And tell us about that. OK. Well, Uncle Ness, as you know, um, whenever there's uh, a tragedy or a crisis, it's hard because maybe you're not prepared for dealing with the expense of travel, and maybe you um, are not prepared to deal with the expense of dealing with the deceased because of paperwork, and a lot of times it has to happen very quickly. Mm -hmm. So what the um, Alaska Arab Partnership Organization did was that we s began a Ferdinand Marquez Fund at Wells Fargo. Okay. Um, and this is just a stopgap to help the family. 
Um, our intent is to help defray the cost of um, having to deal with the remains and a little for the family so that they could have a burial. And then if there are any excess funds left over, we will contribute it to the um, Anchorage Gospel Mission where Mr. Marquez, near where Mr. Marquez was found. So um, that's the intent of the fund. And basically, if you want to write a check to the Ferdinand Marquez Fund, you can take it and deposit it at any Wells Fargo bank. Okay, so anybody could just go to uh, Wells Fargo mm -hmm. and just say you would like to make a donation mm -hmm. for Ferdinand Marquez and, and, and they take care of that. Yes, and several okay. people have done so already. I know that um, most of the Alaska Partnership Organizer Group have done so already. Um, I, ha I asked my brother to do it, he did it as well, yeah. um, and we're all reaching out to our friends. Just, I mean, every little bit helps, and like I said, no good thing in this world happens with just a little. It's, it's, it's a little from a lot of people. So even if it's $10 or $20, it, it goes a long way because there's a lot of us, and when a lot of us help, then no one has to carry the burden by themselves. Well, bless your heart. Again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Chris Marasigan, who is with the Alaska Partnership Organization, or APO, uh, you know, with, with her group uh, came about and uh, uh, helped uh, Marianne uh, Creighton uh, in behalf of uh, Ferdinand Marquez. And thank you again. Marai Salamat. God bless you. And now, now, don't leave. You stay there, and I think we could just go uh, with, with the program. Uh, okay. Marianne, uh, now that you've seen everything, and uh, is there anything that uh, uh, you want to say more with regards to the Filipino community before we say goodnight? Huh. There's not much. There's not enough words okay. that I can say. And there, th it's just maraming maraming salamat po sa kanilang lahat. Okay. Talagang at you know, without a doubt na tumulong sila sa, uh, sa aming pamilya na wala hong, hindi nila pinag-isipan ng ano, ng, ng napakatagal na tulungan kami. Basta right away, oh, tinulungan nila kami without a doubt na, na hindi, hindi sila na hindi ko komportable. So, nagpapasalamat ako. You know that. I love you guys. <laughs> Talaga. Naging parang ngayon, no, nagkaroon ako ng pamilya sa sa Anchorage na hindi kong alam na may, magiging meron parang ngayon no, masaya na akong babalik dito na at least alam ko meron no, akong pamilya dito na, mm -hmm. na sa akin na magiging ganun na talagang ngayon alam nyo ko anong feeling ng mag maging malapit sa mga Pilipino mm -hmm. kasi you never find that really not a lot somewhere in the United States mahilap po, mahilap kayo makahanap ng mga ganitong katulong nagbibigay lang mo ng kanya na hindi man lamang ano. So, talagang thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you yan. <laughs> you know that. So, talagang thank you lang. At talagang hindi ko na, kaya hindi ko, hindi ko alam ko ano pang masasabi ko kasi talagang ma ano, masaya ang puso ko. Tsaka yung kapatid ko ngayon, alam ko masayang masaya ngayon na hindi niya alam na maraming mag magtutulong sa kanya ng ganito na hindi din siya kilala po. Mm. Kaya, sa kanya rin no. ngayon, alam ko, nakasmile siya ngayon. No. I know that. Kasi hindi niya siguro na-realize na may mga Pilipinong nagmamahal sa kanya mm. din. Well, thank you, Marian. Uh, alam mo, you, know, you don't know that uh, we know we lost Ferdinand Marquez and he's with the dwelling, in the dwelling place of our Lord now. But he's dying. I don't know if you realize, and I'm sure Chris, uh, Kristen, you re realize it too brought us all Filipino American children Anchorage closer together because the Filipino community rallied behind to a man that they don't even know because Ferdinand like what I said only comes here once a year but when he passed away brutally like that the Filipino American realized that how you know how much we are really uh, uh, so separate from each other that it's a moment like this that we all realize, oh my gosh, it could happen to my husband, it could happen to my son. And indeed, Ferdinand brought us together. And thank you very much for coming. And Christine, thank you very much. God bless you. And Uncle Ness, yeah. you know the work isn't over yet. It's not. It's not. Because <laughs> not only do we need contributions to the fund to help with expenses, mm -hmm. but also, you know, the people who did this now 
the police department did their job. Yes. They were in custody and the in APD, jail yes, within 24 yes, hours. Yes, and I think justice prevailed. And uh, yeah, and, and the court yeah. set a very yeah. high bail, yes. which is good. You yes. know, it's like, you know, a million dollars for the yes. main perpetrator and a quarter of a million dollars, I believe, for the rest of the people that were involved in this heinous crime. However, these people still, at some point, will go to trial. And I think it's very important um, that, especially for uh, the Filipino community, to keep an eye on this case. Because um, when you're in that courtroom and you see that you have suspects, their fam they have family here. Um, whereas Ferdinand does not. Um, they, they, they live far away. And so it's hard to make sure that the dead are represented. And I think it will be important to make sure that those that committed the crime get the kind of punishment.